Hey guys, uh, welcome back again to uh, Camille's Sec. Today we're gonna go over how to download the latest and the greatest um, Kali Linux from Offensive Security. Uh, so without much ado, let's just dive into it. Uh, again, we're gonna thank uh, the guys from Offensive Security for a wonderful job of creating this ready image for us. We don't have to go through the whole process of uh, downloading, configuring all the fine stuff. All right, so we're gonna uh, navigate into uh, Offensive Security page Let's go to offensive security page and then we're going to click on um you know uh this link here that's going to take us to offensive security page we click on this little icon here we go down to download we're going to click on uh kali uh linux virtual machines we click on that it takes us to this page but then again i have to caution you guys if you have vmware then this is where you click on your download but if we are working on a virtual box like I'm doing right now, I'm going to expand the virtual box and then I select whatever architecture I have. If I have the 32 bit, I click on that. If I have the 64 bit, I click on that, right? So be careful. If you have a, a Hyper-V, then you can expand and use the Hyper-V images. But again, we have working on the virtual box image. This is what we're going to do. Once you click on it, it starts downloading. But then again, I'm not going to go through the download process because I already downloaded my my, uh, my stuff. I'm going to navigate to the download. So this is what I've already downloaded. So I'm going to double click on this image. So because I have my uh, virtual box open, when you double click on the download image, it just boom, opens up and then you just click on import. So this is going to start the importation of your downloaded Kali Linux, the latest and greatest 2020. That one, you click on import, and then you know you agree, and this is gonna start the uh, the process of importing your uh, your ready image directly onto your virtual box. How cool is that? So I'm gonna pause this video until uh, I'm gonna pause this video again until uh, this uh, uh, this download is completed. I don't want to stay here and uh, you guys stay and wait till this. All right, so the, the downloading process or the importation process has been done. So you can see my machine has been, you know, imported onto my virtual box. So now we're gonna go through the settings, you know, you know, set up the fine stuff that we wanna be able to set on this machine. First of all, if you wanna give it a new name, you could do that here. You know, we could say stuff like uh, Ali Linux 2020.1, maybe test lab. Stuff like that. And then this is based off Linux and it's based off uh, Debian 64 bit. That is good. Advanced is already on bi -direction, bidirectional. So the bidirectional means you can actually transfer files between your host machine and your guest machine if you want it that way. But if you are very big in security and you want to be using it in the production environment, you don't want to do this. You might want to change it based on your, you know, need, your security needs. All right. So we go down to system. We leave everything that says here. The processor, we give it two. Uh, CPU, that should be good enough. The display, we don't have to do anything here. The storage, nothing here because it's a ready image. Uh, the audio, nothing. The network, all right, so we want to give it, what, the NAT network. We already created our NAT network, so we're going to select this. And then, uh, if you want to share or you want to have a USB that's going to be, you know, uh, you know, shared between the host machine and then the guest machine, you can add your USB here. But if not, you can just leave it as is and then move on. So there's nothing here. You click on OK. This machine is ready to go. So we can click on Start. All right, so. Machine to boot up. All right, there we go. That's the new 2020.1. All right, so the username is going to be Kali. And then the uh, the password is going to be Kali. Right, there we go. So 
The biggest thing in the 2020 is it is not going to be defaulted to roots like the previous version, which is cool because of security and stuff like that. So you can, uh, if you want to do anything with the, uh, the super or privileged user, you can always do your SU, switch user, sudo, whatever you want to do to get to the, uh, the super user, you know, you can do that. But this defaults to a user, not a super user as the previous version of Kali. So this is very, very, very cool. So as you can see, uh, Kali no longer defaults to root, which is cool. So this is it. Um, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please uh, like, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. All right, thanks. See you in the next video.